my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Julian Steindorfer from Edition Spielwise, and he brought us Indian Summer. Yes. Hello. For you guys, if you're not familiar, this is the next in a series, all by Rosenberg, which is exactly. uh, yeah, the last one is Cottage Garden. Yes. Um, so we're continuing with our plants and exactly. growing feet. Yeah, um, you can see the puzzle here on the side of the box, and uh, this role will continue. <laughs> At the moment, this is biology, maybe it's going to be more. Quite likely, it's going to be more. Well, and since I mentioned Cottage, cottage Garden, let's, in difficulty, about where would you scale it against the first one? Um, in terms of rules, this is, I think, even lighter, but gameplay is, um, if you want to play this good, it's tougher. But okay. you can still, uh, it's a very enjoyable game. What The, the core idea behind our puzzle ga games is like, Cottage Garden started really easy. A lot of people are kind of disappointed because they said, it's, maybe it's too flat compared to Petro, for example. But what we wanted, we wanted to give people the entry into the puzzle world. And this is now the second step. And um, what's sometimes hard to understand, especially, for example, in the German market for a lot of people, is that these games are about relaxing. Cottage Garden, except, uh, especially. And this is a little bit tough and sometimes even a little bit mean. <laughs> hey, well, take a seat. Yeah, okay. So, um, one of the most important things to understand is in this game is, like, you collecting these treasures here. They have, like, two sides. Um, an icon side and an uh, illustrated side. Um, you collect them um, through placing puzzle tiles. These wonderful puzzle tiles with a hole. And it's very important to understand these are not points. These are just vehicles to get faster to the end of the game. Because what we try to accomplish is we try to fill our wood floor. Alright, okay, so we've got this. What's yeah. this? This is a wonderful wooden floor because we're taking a walk in wonderful New England or any other beautiful woods out there. And it's going to be autumn. We enjoy our Sunday together with our family. And the leaves are falling down and they're slowly covering the floor. And so I take a puzzle tile out of my path and I place it somewhere on my board. There are a few rules, we already maybe know them from Polish Garden, so this is not allowed, don't stack uh, puzzle tiles or not puzzle tiles, uh, don't move them throughout the game. Um, a very important thing is, um, if you place a puzzle tile and the hole covers one of these uh, treasure marked on the board, I would collect from the um, common stor storage one of these um, treasures and put it over it. So then the next player's turn it is, I again choose a puzzle tile from my path, place it here. Now, no line up there, so no treasure. Exactly. Um, I keep on puzzling, I do this, I get a mushroom, this makes me very happy. And now I maybe finish this um, sector here. And as it's now covered, I have to um, collect this um, mushroom and berry. Whoops. And, sorry and yep. put them in my storage. Yay. This is like the main action is just to place um, one of these uh, leaf tiles. Uh, alternatively, um, you could also place one of the squirrels. I've heard squirrels are the new cats. <laughs> so we put five different of them <laughs> inside the game. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love animals, furry <laughs> animals. Um, yeah, so I've now these, uh, these treasure tokens and I can use them for special actions or to substitute my main action. So for example, with the berry, I could collect new puzzle tiles out of the uh, common All path. Right. And now that's a good segue to say, let's look in the middle. Exactly. And what we try really to do is like to, um, to hint certain connections. So what we, um, for example, this is a berry bush. We're collecting berries. You know, this is the berry. Here you go. Um, so I would like, ref if I play a berry, I would refill my path. So the, one of the main differences, for example, is at, in, in Cottage Garden you have like the common board where you have the competitions. Here you're collecting uh, from the common path into your own path. Um, then you have like the nuts. The nuts let me play uh, squirrels. I can use them to fill holes, to cover so, uh, stuff up. And then there are two tokens, um, the mushroom and the feather. I'm missing a feather. Um, oh, there it is. And these two tokens allow me to substitute my main action. So um, when I play a mushroom, I can take two puzzle, two leaf tiles from two enemies. Oh. I always refer uh, to the first one, so they can even uh, use it 
for um, they can let be uh, they can let uh, not so interesting puzzle types be their first ones. So they like uh, uh, block me from getting uh, the red five or an orange four. So maybe I only get a three, which is still making me happy. So this is one of the ways to speed up your game. A couple of what we basically try to achieve, and I forget to mention this until now, is like that um, the first one who covers this whole board with uh, leaf tiles is the winner. Only if another person in the same round covers also the whole board, which I heard ye happened yesterday with you, uh, then you have to compare the nuts, and in your game it looks even like everybody has the same amount of nuts. <laughs> Yeah. I was going to say, and everything, there's a nice summary of what all of the, the yes. special yeah. exactly. like, forced accessories do. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then there is there is another layer I really have to talk to you, to tell you, and it's the layer of, um, well, let's do it maybe like this. Um, if I manage to build a form out of, a shape out of these holes, I can collect one of these animal tiles out of the uh, common board, and I can place them whenever I want in my turn. And if I over, if I place it over here, I'm allowed to collect all the treasures which are down there again. Wow. So this is very powerful and it's even fun. It's a fun goal to collect. Ah, I want the hedgehog. Oh, I'm always competing for the badger. Yes. Now, is there any difference? You sort of have a stylized version, but we also have an art version. Um, we, we, we care deeply about color blindness and these issues, so we want to have a clear version which is uh, for players with not a good side, but we also really care about artwork, as you can see. Like for us, the, the, the center of the puzzle theology is also like, these are games where the theme support like relaxing. While Cottage Garden was about gardening, spending the Sunday together with your family in the garden, harvesting your, uh, your flowers and stuff like that, this is about taking a walk. So this is really, we want to take this relaxing, having fun to, um, to the whole scene. Yes. What a wonderful inspiration. Uh, and I want to say too that you just have a really fun first turn player with <laughs> yeah. the old beat up blocking boots. Yes. <laughs> Which is a staple in my household, <laughs> sitting by the front door. <laughs> Well, Maybe, oh, I also have to sneak something in here, which is easily forgotten. This is our third game this year. Uh, it's not out in the US at the moment. It's a memoir. It's a strategic memory. It's one of my favorites. It's really fun, deep gameplay. We even have expert players who love this game. Well, I want to give some, some final uh, kudos here to Indian Summer, which if you guys want to check that out, this is a Uwe Rosenberg game. It's the direct sequel to Cottage Garden, uh, being published by uh, uh, Edition Spielwise. And Julian, thank you so much for letting us take a look. Thank you for having me here. <laughs>